Salam, Modern Skeps fam, and welcome to Spiritual Saturdays, part of our March special. One aspect that I love about our religion is what we think, what we say, and what we do all goes back to our intentions. The Prophet Sallallahu said, which translates to actions are according to intentions and everyone will get what was intended. This shows that regardless of what you do, the ultimate judgment goes back to what was in your heart. And of course, no one can judge that intention except for the Almighty himself. This emphasizes how a Muslim should be good and pure on the inside, not just on the outside and that the quality of each human in their heart is what's important. This applies to both religious and non-religious parts of our lives. For example, if you are going for a walk in the park or hanging out with friends just to have fun, then you'll only get the worldly rewards for it. But if you turn that intention into appreciating the world that Allah has provided us, exercising the body that Allah has blessed us, or strengthening the relationships with our fellow brothers and sisters in Islam, then you turn those same worldly actions into something that will benefit you in this life and the next. I know most of us are caught up in the same cycle of school, work, home, family, friends, and we tend to forget that each of our actions can be done for the sake of Allah if we only change our intentions. I can wake up every morning and decide that the work I do is for the intention of contributing to my community as a Muslim. And I'll end up doing the same work I was going to do before, but I'll have so much more rewards after. Intention is also something that we constantly can change. For example, if you start doing something with the wrong intention, like wearing hijab for someone else, you can change that intention and make it right. You also should remember that just because you started something with the right intention doesn't mean you should stop reminding yourself about it. We can easily get lost in the details. This is especially important to remember with Ramadan coming up in that we should make our fasting and our worship for the sake of Allah. It's not necessarily just something that's cultural and we do just because everyone else around us is doing it. Our acts of worship become worthless if we aren't doing it for the right reasons. I encourage you to take a few seconds and stop what you're doing every day to reflect on your actions and why you're doing them. Then you can set little reminders for yourself to renew your intentions at least once every day, if not multiple times a day. Whenever you're doing something new or something routine, change your intention to make it more fulfilling and you'll naturally feel better about yourself. You can even state that intention out loud just to make it more official or make it easier for you to anchor back to. You don't necessarily have to have one intention for each action. You can set multiple intentions that will bring you greater rewards. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make our intentions pure and clear for all aspects of our lives. Ameen.